It's time again for this week's edition of Ask Professor Hammock. That's me. And remember, he's hung more often than you have. That's right. Our first question today comes to us from Dutch, who's writing from Reinholds, Pennsylvania. I'm thinking of starting a business to modify war bonnet blackbirds to remove the zipper and put in a bottom entry. Do you think Hennessy will sue me? Well, Dutch, you need to rethink that business model of yours. I'd worry less about lawsuits and more about Brandon coming after you with a tomahawk. In any case, we've seen your do-it-yourself gear on the hammock forums and think you, maybe you need to work a little bit on your sewing. So why don't you practice on stuff sacks or something for a while and then get back in touch with us. We have a second question. This is from Medicine Man who writes from Roan Mountain, Tennessee. I just bought a Jaxar Better Bear Mountain Bridge hammock, but this thing's heavy. Is there anything you can do to lighten it up? Yes, Medicine Man, at 37 ounces, the bridge hammock is one of the heavier offerings that you find on the commercial market. But Pan's told me that they need to make it uh, heavy enough to stand up to the use and abuse by Joe Sixpack. <laughs> Still at all, I think there are some things that we can do to lighten it up. But before we do that, you might as well find your warranty and tear it up. Because you're going to avoid it. So, why don't we go down to the lab now and find us some tools. The easiest way to lose weight is to replace webbing with cord. There's almost 10 feet of it that go from the ring that's at the suspension triangle apex out to the tree, and we can replace that with 764 M steel. Likewise, there's 20 inches of it that go from ring to ring on the side of the suspension triangle, and we can replace that with cord as well. Then, there are the rings themselves, and we don't really need those. First tool for the job, this one. Bye-bye, oh. corner ring. After we cut off the corner ring, we have a tab of webbing that protrudes. We're going to pass cord through there, but to protect it, we're going to take a piece of tubing, which is cut to fit. And now we can pass cord through here, protect the cord and the webbing from each other. Now let's look at all the ways we've re-engineered the suspension. One end of the suspension side is anchored at the corner using a berry. We've thrown away the aluminum ring, but we put in now a ring of cord made of lashed with a vinyl sheathing, and the slot of the spreader bar goes into this to protect the cord. We also put in a cord here that can be used for uh, attaching underquilts and the like. Two ends of the suspension triangle come up to the apex where formerly there was a ring. That ring is gone. Now what we have is a berry. One side of the suspension is buried into the other, which goes all the way up to the tree. And at the berry, we've embedded a loop that you can use to hang your pack or your boots or serve as the anchor for a ridge line. Further up towards the tree, what we have is a UCR. And at the end of the UCR, we have a built-in prusik to provide the tension at the end of the UCR that we've learned is necessary to uh, allow the UCR to work well. This whole package right here, without spreader bars and without uh, tree huggers, is one pound, two ounces. So we're well on our way to having a lightweight bridge hammock. Now for the spreader bars, you can lose a little weight there as well. Normal spreader bars come together. These are 30 inches, but at the foot end of the uh, hammock, you don't need 30 inches. You can actually do just as fine with 20 inches. And so cut off a foot of the, uh, the spreader bar, and what you have now is the lost an ounce. And so we go from seven and a half ounces for spreader bars to six and a half ounces. Our last weight saving device is to replace the full bug net that the bridge hammock comes with with sort of a half bug net that just covers the face and the torso. The idea being that most of the time you're covered down here, so all you really need for the bug net is down here. See how this works. The netting is already fully attached. And I have loose drape all over me. Bug netting is especially important this time of year because of all the snow flies that we've got. We'll 
we'll take a rundown now and see where we saved. In the original model, we had 6 ounces for webbing. We had 3.8 ounces for rings. We had 6.5 ounces in the spreader bars and 5.7 ounces in the bug net. And that comes to a total of 22 ounces in the stuff that we considered in our modification. In the modification, 0 ounces for webbing. 3.6 ounces for cord, 0 ounces for rings, 5.5 ounces for the spreader bars, only 1.9 ounces for the bug net, and that comes to 11 ounces. We have 11 ounce savings. So Medicine Man, you can take 10% of the savings that you have by not having to go to your chiropractor anymore and send it to me. Pack happy, man. Our last question today we have from Shug, who writes from Roseville, Minnesota. My videos have become so popular that YouTube is asking me if they can put advertisements on them. What should I do? Wow, Suge, I appreciate the dilemma. Perhaps what you can do is become dry and academic like me, or maybe put uh, Shakespeare in your videos, and that'll take care of the uh, popularity issue right there. Well, that's all the time we have for. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, you can write in with your questions to my YouTube channel, and we'll deal with them on a later program. Thanks for watching. Good night.